Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to find the square roots of a complex number, which is in general form. So we have z squared equals A plus BI, which is also the name of this channel, right? And we're going to solve for z. So there are two numbers whose square equals a complex number. Those are called the complex square roots of a plus bi. So to be able to solve this problem, and we're kind of going to come up with a formula that you can always use, let's get to work. I'm going to set z equal to x plus yi, and then take z and square it, right? So z squared is supposed to equal a plus bi. So let's go ahead and expand the left hand side and then see what happens x squared plus 2xyi, I'm doing it the normal way this time, plus y squared i squared equals a plus bi. Nothing is going to happen on the right-hand side. i squared is negative 1, so we can kind of write it as x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi equals a plus bi. Awesome. Now take a look. We have complex numbers on both sides. When are two complex numbers equal? Think about it. When the real parts are equal, and of course, that implies that their imaginary parts also have to be equal. Think about two complex numbers whose real parts are equal, but their imaginary parts are different. Can they be equal? No. That's a contradiction. Anyways, so from here, this should be A, and this should be B. B, B. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that x squared minus y squared is equal to A, and xy is equal to B over 2. I wanted to get xy because I kind of want to use some formulas or what are they called? Identities with polynomials. So I'm going to need xy. I could also use 2xy. I guess no big deal. But I'll just use xy. Okay, whatever. Now here's what I'm going to do. I have x squared minus y squared. I want to get the conjugate of that, which is x squared plus y squared. How can I get that? There's a really cool identity. If you know that, you'll be in good shape, especially if you're studying algebra. So if you subtract these two quantities, what do you get? m squared, n squared, m squared, n squared cancels out 2mn minus negative 2mn, 4mn. This is a really helpful identity if you're doing algebra and preparing for competitions or Olympiads. This is definitely going to help you, I guarantee. So here, if we apply it to this situation, take a look. What are we getting? This is my m, this is my n. I should be getting 4m squared, n squared, right? Now, we don't know x squared plus y squared, but we're going to solve for it. So let's leave that alone. I know that x squared minus y squared is equal to a. So if I square it, I get a squared. And mn is what? Wait a minute. Wasn't I? Okay. I forgot to replace this with x squared y squared. So it's supposed to be 4x squared y squared. I'm not even, I didn't even realize. Sorry about that. So now xy is b over 2. If you square it, you're going to get b squared divided by 4, but the 4 is going to cancel out. You're going to end up with b squared. Awesome. So that was nice. And now we can solve for x squared plus y squared, or at least for its square at this point. Now we have two solutions from here, obviously, right? If you square root both sides, x squared plus y squared. But wait a minute. x and y are real numbers, and a and b are real numbers. So the sum of two squares cannot be negative, right? So we're going to go with the positive solution. Yay, we got a single solution, nice. But the problem is we have to find the other one, right? So let's go ahead and make a system. We already knew that x squared minus y squared was equal to a, right? That's how we found x squared plus y squared, come on. And now we can solve for x squared and y squared. Let's do it. Add these two equations. You're going to get 2x squared, right? And then divide by 2, you're going to get x squared equals square root of a squared plus b squared plus a divided by 2. And then to find x, obviously you're going to go with the plus minus sign and a giant square root under the radical. You're going to have another square root plus a divided by 2. And by the same token, y squared should be square root of a squared plus b squared minus a this time divided by 2. Because to find y squared... You should subtract these equations, right? You want x squared to cancel out. Make sense? Think about it. Now, we're going to do the same thing pretty much, right, with the y. And y is going to be plus minus the square root of 
a squared plus b squared minus a divided by 2. So here's the thing. When you write the square roots, you can write x plus y i. Now x could be positive and y could be positive. That's going to be one of the square roots. What is the other square root? It's the opposite of that. So when x and y are both positive, the, the other square root is going to be both negative, right? Real and imaginary parts. If x is negative and y is positive, then they're going to switch around and plus minus so on and so forth. So there's actually, that looks like there are four cases, but there's actually two cases. And we can take care of that using a really special function. You know what that is? It is the absolute value. Yes, it's awesome. And we can kind of test it out too. So let's go ahead and put it together. I want to put the x and y together. But here's the thing. You can always keep the x positive and the change the y only. Makes sense? Uh, so that way uh, you're going to be able to uh, manipulate the whole thing. Makes sense? Okay, so here's how it goes. Square root of a plus bi is equal to, again with the positive x, square root of square root of a squared plus b squared plus a all over 2 and then plus i times and by the way this is going to be a plus minus sign but guess what that depends on that depends on the value of b because i want to keep the a as positive and again if it becomes negative then you can kind of negate it so on and so forth okay so to keep a long story short i can kind of multiply the i by a very special function b divided by absolute value of b by the way b divided by absolute value of b can be written as a piecewise defined function. It's equal to 1 if b is positive. It's equal to negative 1 if b is negative. Obviously, you don't want b to be 0 because if b is 0, then you get a real number. And come on, you can square root that, right? You don't really need a formula because this formula is just too complex. Or is it too complicated? Whatever, something like that. And this is going to be multiplied by the square root of the conjugate which is the same thing the minus sign and that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and test it out for example uh, suppose you're trying to find the square roots of negative 7 minus uh, 24i there's going to be two of them but let's just find one and i'll show you how to find the other one right so here we're going to do the following first we're going to add the squares of 7 and 24. By the way, that's, there's a triangle, 7, 24, 25 triangle. Did you know that? Hopefully you did. 8, 15, 17 is another one that I really, really like. Anyways, we have the 7, 24, 25 triangle. So this is 25. I mean, the absolute value is 25. What am I talking about? So now, the square root of 6, 25, by the way. It's not 5. So we're going to plug it in here. Oops. What did I do? Hocus pocus. Now, we're going to get the following. It's going to be the square root of 25 plus a, which is minus 7, divided by 2, plus i times. By the way, here b is negative, so I have to use a minus sign, right? Let's put a minus sign here. There you go. And multiply this by the square root of 25 plus 7 over 2. Obviously, the plus minus signs depend on the value of a, so they could switch around. This is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. This is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. Therefore, one of the roots is... 3 minus 4i. The other root is negative 3 plus 4i. It's opposite, and you can go ahead and check it out. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.